This is a Mercruiser 3.7 LX or the old 470 and it was in a boat that I've uh, acquired and it's been stood for years so it was seized up solid and I took the head off inside the boards was all corroded so I ripped it apart so I dropped the sump off with the piston still in took the crank out Knock the pistons down inside the bores and then honed out the top of the bores so I could then slide all the pistons out so as I didn't do any damage. Then cleaned it all up, honed out the bores, cleaned the block, cleaned out every oil gallery and everything and just generally went all over it. And the, the block itself and the main bearings and caps, cam journals, everything, no signs of wear, nothing, no, no sort of real major problems. The engine obviously is only seized up through being stood. So I've owned all the bores out, cleaned everything up inside the block and outside. And we're gonna to start to try and put this thing back together. Now this rebuild, it's not in a workshop, it's not in a machine shop or anything like that. We've only got sort of basic tools that I'm going to be using, nothing flash. And um, just generally sort of slowly put it all back together and get this engine running again. Like I say, there's no real big wear on anything. All the bores owned up really nicely. So hopefully just a gasket kit and a bit of time and we'll have this thing running again. This is like a, an old school engine. You just pour petrol in the top, get power out the back. As you go around, you see the cam journals, everything. It's it just all, it's so nice inside really. It's, it's a good lump. That's where all the, the hydraulic cam followers run in the bottom of that valve chamber there. Again, once I do, sort of got it all apart and cleaned it out, it's all looking good. So now it's just a case of having it on the top of a black and decker workmate no engine hoist or anything like that and trying to get all these bits back in these are the pistons that came out of it again no real big issues the uh, rings were all freed up nicely so nothing's being replaced everything's been measured and checked make sure it's all well within its tolerances so hopefully this thing should just be a gasket set a few odds and ends we've got to try and get a few bits unfortunately all the bits i have to get are at the moment coming from america there's the crankshaft camshaft and there's the leg which i had to remove to get the drive shaft at the back of the engine and uh, then as you go around we've got all the engine ancillary bits and everything right back to the shield i've got the shield off all the power steering this is the uh, inside of the oil field housing this little valve here is an oil bypass valve so if your filter ever blocks up your engine still gets oil but it's unfiltered oil so servicing's a, a good idea if you want to prevent excessive wear cam follows there that's where the fuel pump bolts onto and um, now we're going to start trying to get a few bits back into this engine. This um, engine block, like I say, it's, it's just a stable rebuild. And this is the camshaft that's going to be going back in. Again, no signs of wear, no scores or anything like that. I was quite, in, quite impressed with how good this was inside, really, for the age of the engine. I'm going to be rebuilding it with this graphogen paste. It's like a, uh, a graphite paste you smear on wearing surfaces. I've put it on the inside of all the cam journals there. And it's just sort of when it has its initial startup after being rebuilt, it's got a, a good form of like non-stick lubrication on all your wearing parts. Saves any initial pickup. And the camshaft slid back in now. There's the, uh, all the lobes turning. You've got one lobe for each valve. And then in here you've got the center lobe operates the uh, fuel pump 
And then again, one load for each valve, for each cylinder. So, so you've got, and now, now this is a main bearing cap. That little locating lug there just slips into that machined recess in the edge of the cap there. So you can't really go wrong with that. So we're gonna put this in. I'm just gonna get uh, a film of clean oil, drop it into where the bearing sits. Wipe it round with your finger so you've got just, just a film of oil in there and um, just sort of slide that cap in and make sure it just sits home nicely. Now, I'm building this engine. Um, this isn't gonna be a, a how-to video on what you should be doing or what, this is just my method of doing things. Um, put a couple of engines together in the past. Got all the main bearing caps in there. Now I've, I've just dropped the crank in. Coated all those bearings with that graphogen paste. I'm just give it a nice spin over and make sure you're get, not getting any sort of like pickups or scores or anything. It's just turning nice and smoothly in those cap base, in the bottom caps. There's the crank sh the camshaft down there. Now that turns nice and smoothly. It's all nice and free. Just spin it over by hand. So you're gonna get the uh, main bearing cap now. You do basically the same with this as I've done with the the, the it main bearings in the bottom of the, the engine, just a, a film of oil, get the bearing, slip the bearing in, and uh, just a, a little like pea-sized blob of uh, graphogen goes into the uh, main bearing cap, and then you just slide it around with your finger and just coat that surface up nicely so it's just got a nice thin coat on. And it's just like a non-stick coating for when the engine initially fires up. Obviously, when the engine's running, the heat of the oil and everything, it'll wash that out, but it's all replaced by nice sort of clean engine oil that you're running your engine on. And you just sort of drop your cap into place, run the bolts in. They should run in by hand virtually all the way. Did notice the caps in this are a, a nice tight fit into the block. Um, machined it very well um, the numbers on the top of the cap denote which main bearing where it goes the arrows point to the uh, the front of the engine most marks on engines tend to point to the front so it's sort of pretty self-explanatory you don't really want to be mixing these up they all want to go back in exactly the same place they came from that's why they are numbered they're all sort of cast into numbers and sort of direction is cast into them okay so uh, as you put each cap on you just to uh, give them sort of like a, a nip just just giving it a nip down with a spanner just to make sure it's sort of butted up to its faces nicely and then once you've nipped down bear in mind this isn't talked up yet i've only got a couple of caps on so uh, this isn't talked down at the moment once it's nipped down and you're sort of happy that it's all butted up nicely just want to give that crank a quick spin and um, this is as far as i've got at the moment so i had to dash off so I'll, if anybody's interested leave a comment or whatever and i'll try and film a bit more as i'm sort of putting this back together but i'm not a filmmaker as you can probably tell by the poor camera and the rubbish voiceover but We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.